It is line time, baby. It is time to unlock your lines. Or something like that. It's a new Monster Rancher game. It's for mobile. And it's better than the last Monster Rancher game for mobile. Just real quick so nobody's stressed. This is not out in the West. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to get this game if you don't live in Japan. Because it uh, does require a couple of steps. Not a lot of steps, but you know, it's a couple of steps. What you want to do, very first thing. If you're on mobile, super easy. You go to qapp.com, qooapp.com. Literally, what this is, it's like a third party Google Play Store or Apple Store. It's just a third party app store. And it will have an APK of the game. That's all you got to do Monster Farm. Boom. Just download qapp. And then search for Line Monster Farm, download the APK, bada boom, bada bing, you're done. That's literally all there is to it. If you're playing on PC, there's one additional step. You need an Android emulator. And so there's two big ones. Uh, there's BlueStacks. And there is LD Player. Just to let you guys know, both of these, they are legitimate but they will try to download a bunch of random shit. So just be careful when you download them that you don't download the Norton antivirus and you don't download the other thing in the fucking toolbar. And it asks you about all this stuff, but just be careful. Don't download that shit. You need to have hardware virtualization turned on inside your PC. Every motherboard, it's completely different where you find it, but it's always in the BIOS file when you boot your computer. So get into your, like restart your computer, do a little bit of Googling if you need to, to figure out which button you need to press to get into your BIOS. It's usually F2. For me, it's delete. Get into your BIOS and then you turn on hardware virtualization or some other variation of that. Figure out what your motherboard is. Go to your specs, figure out what your motherboard is, and then Google turning on hardware virtualization with that. And then what that does is it basically allows your computer to run another computer, more or less. You know, that's the layman's terms version of it. Press download via Q app. It would give me an APK, which is a file that, you know, it's a package. It's basically an app, but you need an emulator to be able to run it. So you would download BlueStacks or you would download the other guy. Is the game in English? It is not. It is not in English. Um, I know I didn't get into the, the super nitty gritty because, you know, like for me in particular, um, my hardware virtualization is called SVM. It, it's completely different for every single machine. And what's really nice is both BlueStacks and LD Player do have additional like quirks and bugs in them, but they are really good with being like, hey, you need to do this to get it working. And so you just say, okay, I'll do that. And then it works after that. On mobile, it's much easier to get it running. I've already have it, had it running on mobile for a while. Do we need a Japanese line account for it? No, 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 no. So that's a thing that's kind of a misnomer about this is you don't actually need a line account to play the game at all. Having line allows you additional roles, like additional pulls of monsters. So, I mean, there's a benefit to it, but it's completely not needed. I literally just made a line account like five minutes ago in English saying I live in Canada, but I played all day on my phone without it. I can tell you're Japanese because of the ugly, goofy no mask you've been wearing this whole time. This What? 